Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 once again. It's been quite a while since I played Hearts of Iron 4 and I'm super excited to get back into a brand new game. Well, when I say it's been a long time, I mean it's been a long time since I played Hearts of Iron 4 on this channel because, well, I've been sort of learning how to play the game once again. So we're going to try a scenario which I've actually done before just so that essentially I don't look like a complete fool. Because if I try to play France, yeah, that didn't go well. So, uh, go so well for me. Same with Czechoslovakia. Yeah, I'm not so good at playing as the, uh, you know, the, the democracies yet. But I'm sure at some point I'll get around to, you know, perfecting my strategies. But um, today we're gonna be playing as Manchukuo. We're gonna be playing as Manchukuo um, because I want to form the Qing Dynasty. That was a really fun time that I did a long time ago, and I think. We may or may not have had historical AI focuses on or off. Doesn't really matter, you know. Either one is fine. They're both very, very fun to play, different scenarios. So it doesn't really matter, it doesn't bother me that much. Okay, we just got ourselves right, nice, and settled. Right, as I said, that doesn't sound like the proper order for those words, but here we are as Manchukuo. We just started our brand new campaign. Oh my god, look at this focus tree. I absolutely love these focus trees that they have so much development in for certain countries in the world. Absolutely love the uh, Chinese focus trees. Now let's turn up the music a little bit and let's start with something like something very, very exciting because we're going to be playing as. Manchukuo reforming the Qing Dynasty, I believe, is the name of that. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, we have generals, but we have nothing else. Um, this guy's the best. Well, not entirely. Well, I like him, but he's a cavalry leader. We have cavalry, it's fine. Okay, so we have tons and tons of manpower. So the name of the game here is essentially just tons of manpower, taking things from people, and yada yada, that sort of good old thing. Um, I think we're going to start with those two researchers because we need new rifles instantaneously if we want to get something done. We want to produce the good rifles, not the, you know, kind of garbage ones that we have right now. Um, other than that, we have no basic units in training. Um, let's start with changing these units, actually, into better ones. Hold on, which ones are the, which ones are the good ones? The Kyujun are six, and these guys are three. Okay, why do you have the down arrow, then? Okay, stop that. Um... Change your, change your, your thing. Default symbol? No, I don't want, okay, uh, elite. Or default, I guess. Yeah, let's give them a default. These guys are sort of the actual, um, yeah, okay, let's, let's, let's change that around for a second. There you go, default. Thank you. Alrighty then, default, here we go. Our national focus, what should we start with, guys? What should we start with? Um, well, there's getting the off-map civilian factories, which is very, very interesting. That's very, very important, but we also need to get rid of the banditry. I remember that's a very important thing to get rid of from the very beginning of the game. Um, so those civilian factors would be really, really nice for getting military factories and all that stuff. Uh, it's possible we might need to start with this. Hmm, who knows? Alright, you know what? Civilian factories are that. I mean, I really do like civilian factories, but this kind of this is important. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to... Start with the banditry, okay. Um, and then after the banditry... So let's uh, boost up the speed there. After the banditry, I think we're going to start with the invite foreign investors. I think that's what we're going to go with after. Yeah, sounds like an idea to me. Um, I think that's the way we're going to go. Okay, so with these guys, they're going to want to train. Uh, we're not producing very many military equipment. That's fine. Let's put them up against the Korean border, because that's what you want to take first. Um, because the Japanese are essentially, it's a very, very precise plan that we end up doing here. Very, very precise. So, the way that things are going to end up happening is essentially, the Japanese are, of course, going to declare war on China. It's going to be the Chinese United Front and all that good stuff. And you're going to join the war when you're ready uh, against the Chinese once the Japanese have sufficiently cut their way into China, but not enough to capitulate them. So what that's, what that's going to do is, you're going to deploy all that manpower that you've been saving up, all the stuff that you've been, you know, taking 
And what you're going to do is essentially slap down a whole bunch of troops. Uh, you're going to get some of the uh, Chinese miners onto your side. So that involves, uh, I think, the Guangxi clique, uh, Yunnan, Sanji. I'm not sure about Communist China. I don't think they join you ever. Um, Sankyang and Jibei San Ma, I think, are the ones that can join you. But if you have enough manpower, or, you know, enough deployed manpower is uh, essentially when you can almost guarantee every single time that they'll join you. Now, the uh, the Menchuko start is not actually a whole lot of fun because, well, yeah, obviously you start off with no planes, like literally none. Those are Japanese planes in there. We have very, very few men. We have a lot of manpower, obviously, but we have basically, we're basically disarmed. We have consumer good factories, leaving us with approximately no construction ability. So, of course, that means we're going to want to, once we finish pacifying the countryside, or at least, you know, doing the focus, we're going to have to move over to get those filling factories and start producing those military factories. That's very, very important. This is more important, though, in my personal opinion, because of the decisions that we have to do with them. So, there you go. We have to recruit or pacify the bandits in, you know, whatever areas. So, we can... Hmm. Also nationalism. Okay, so we can, you know create units out of the bandits, or we can just pacify them. I think pacifying is usually the route that I go with. Um, we'll see, we'll see. When we get to it, we'll, we'll see what we do. I'll start with that, because we can't really produce anything if we don't have any civilian factories, and that's kind of important. Um, so it's going to take a little while, right? We got more political power. Um, in terms of actually getting rid of those bandits, we have to get a couple of units in different areas. So... Um, let's get all of our units into Sun King. Whoop. Whoop, something just happened. Something important just happened. Okay, yeah. The Civil War, that's an important thing. That's justified lagging CPU. So I'm going to just sort of like chill in this area. That's fine. I'm going to be able to use that decision. It doesn't take any of my political power though. So let's start with something like... Ooh, that's expensive. Uh, we don't want these guys yet. Because they cost extra. Um, we could go with something simple like industry, that'd be important. Yeah, electronics is also good. Industrial, I think industrial is probably one of my better bets to go with. Yeah, okay, I think it's our best option just to go with industrial right now. There you go, because he doesn't cost any more. I don't want to spend extra on things that I don't want. We're already fascist, and we're going to stay fascist, so we don't need any demag demagogues or whatever. I mean, it'd be interesting to, you know, take a look at what you could do if you somehow became a different ideology. I don't think you actually can as Menchuko, though. Because while we're, while we're the uh, Imperial Protectorate, we can't exactly change our ideology, so it doesn't really matter that much. There you go, first research is done. We want to get the next research as well. I know it's causing me to slow down my industry just a little bit, but that research is very, very helpful for... The various technologies you're gonna need, considering you only have two research slots as Manchukuo, and your uh, research time is absolutely abysmal since Japan doesn't help you out with anything, so. It'll start with less text than just about everyone else. Except for the rest of China, of course, but you know. Yeah. Okay, oh, I didn't take a decision. I'm dumb. Okay, yeah, let's start with that. It's gonna take a little while. I need to maintain Eastern Control for a little while. I am 100% certain that I should have done that sooner. That sucks. Um, these guys will happen in other areas, I think, unless I'm wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. I think they actually do rise up still, even when you're starting to maintain control in certain areas. Okay, how are we doing on that, uh, production? 4.5 a day? Absolutely abysmal. That's garbage. Wow, okay. That's gonna be, uh, an adventure to get through. Okay, then. Speed 5 is not fast enough for the things I want to get through today. Oh, foreign investors, thank you very much. Free civilian factories, that is the nice little click sound that I like to hear. What does that sound even? It's just various factory noises, I suppose. Okay, what do we want to start with? More civilian or more or, uh, military? I'd say military for... Well, hold on. We only have three available for building. We might want to start with just one. 40 is the best? Yeah, okay. Start with one and then maybe... 
a couple of those. Not there. Um, uh, right there, maybe. Yeah, I'll start with that. Uh, I didn't mean to unpause. Okay. Tree delegation, that's pretty good. Army experience is also pretty good. Uh, obedience or assertiveness? Of course, we're going to go with assertiveness because, I mean, yeah, of course, why not? Um, trade delegation, or we could do collaboration with the Japanese. Makes them like us a little bit more. Opinion increase, we could get modern submarines. It's strange how we can, we can do collaboration with the Japanese, but at some point, they're going to hate us anyway, so... We could start with this. The war isn't going to start too soon, though, so we might want to go with... That's not super important. Okay, let's go with uh, industry. That's important. So start with industry. Nice, we got our new rifles. I really like that. Uh, next, we need new research. That would end up being maybe some support equipment. Perhaps. It might also be engineering. Not engineering, uh, industry. Let's go with production, actually. So we need more guns. We don't really care about the quality of our guns, we just need more people to carry more guns. It's essentially Soviet Manchukuo, except fascist, I guess. That's how that's going to be going right now. That's the way things are going to be going. Speaking of which, I want to kind of want to see the outcome here. It's sort of 50-50% chance to see uh, if the Republicans or the Nationalists win. It's uh, sort of back and forth. Oh, what's up, Anstan? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since I played Hoi 4, I suppose. A lot of people who joined uh, from watching Hoi 4 don't really like to watch the EU4 as much, so... Sort of, I missed you guys, you know? It's been a while. It's been a really long time, actually. Ooh, bandit raids nine days. Can't quite remember what happens during these. I mean, I know this is one of the four options, clearly, but... At the same time, I am maintaining control over one area. I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, banner raids failed. Nice. Okay, nice. Oh, I want to see what I mean. I mean, sure, 100%. Um, you know, things might get a little bit busy during the stream, but 100% afterwards I'll take a look at it if you uh, sort of put it in there. Would it be the reference of something a lot earlier that we talked about? Maybe like a month back that we talked about uh, something you made in Hoi for? I don't know. Sort of something in my mind is sort of clicking about. I don't know, something like that. Mm. So in the meantime, there's not much to do. We do need new units. We don't care much about reinforcements. We don't care that much about army experience. I mean, army experience is alright. I think one of the most important things to do right now, actually, would be... Uh, getting infantry equipment up. And then after it's up, getting a stockpile. Um, comes a puppet. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, the war breaks out at some point. We might want to do collaboration with the Japanese just for a little while. Uh, it'll make them like us, and eventually we'll just get more modern submarines, and yeah, 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 that's all good. But we could also do something to do with the U.S. That would be interesting. Uh, we get cruisers, naval aviation is something we get anyway, you know, all that stuff. Um, so we could get, like, cruisers, we could also do submarines. I'm not a huge navy guy, uh... I mean, you know, I, I like my navies as a person, but in terms of maybe other things, like being Manchukuo. Yeah, that's what... Okay. So I thought we were Manchukuo, but no, no, no. Right. So in terms of being Manchukuo, um, we don't have, like, really anything in terms of, uh, what do you call them? Boats. Oh my god, I was so distracted for a minute there. I don't know what I was thinking about, but it just definitely wasn't this game for just a hot minute. Don't worry about it. Right, so low legitimacy. Ooh, god, that's terrible. Hmm. Alrighty, okay, we can get our next advisor very, very soon. Military theorist. He might be good because I don't want to. I don't want to keep ourselves pressed for a. Uh, that. Don't want to keep ourselves pressed for the good old having to train all the entire time. That's not a lot of fun. So we're going to do collaboration with the Japanese just for now. Um, at some point, you know, you know, you know, you know, we're going to have to do that whole independence war and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that good stuff. Covers from the Japanese. 
Um, yep, Imperial Protectorate still. Banditry is creating stability. Oh god, we have no war support, no stability. We can fix that soon. I'm sure we can fix it over time. Very, very quickly. That Eastern Control takes so long. So long. So, if we keep six divisions in there, we can do it, right? But we need to keep more than... You know, everything has to have six divisions. That's the problem. I want to I want to train up like three more divisions. Because after that, if we create three more divisions. Oh god. Okay, uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create three more of these guys. They're gonna sit down there. We're gonna put them on high priority. We're gonna hope that at some point they just get enough, you know, stuff to be put down. Um. We really need that production, like, boosted right now. So we're going to go Disperse. There are various reasons why Disperse is better than uh, Concentrated, which I won't get into because there's a very, very brilliant video you can watch about it, which honestly really convinced me as to why it's so much better. So I always, always go with, with Disperse now rather than uh, Concentrated. Okay, leadership purges in the Soviet Union. Wonderful. I um, mean, you know, not wonderful, but yeah, yeah you know what I mean. Clubbers from the Japanese means uh, shipbuilding, which is good. Add two building slots and two naval dockyards. We don't need navy right now. Uh, we do need a civilian economy. Not, not. I mean, you know, not civilian economies in this. I need like, you know, I actually need civilian factories to start bolstering myself with the ability to have arms. Now I know there's something interesting about uh, Manchukuo, where I think you can actually start stealing stuff from Japan, like Japan depots or whatever. Okay, we maintain these uh, Eastern control, which is good. Uh, right there, is that where it is? The northern countryside. Yes, that's where it is. Nice, wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna get these guys up to there. You guys are doing that now, right? Uh, please go and go do that. Thank you. I did set it to there, right? Like, you guys should be going over there, please. Like, even if it says minimum division zero, like, just go, go there anyway. Please, thank you. You can start the next one, which is... North Countryside. Wonderful. Okay, and then... Once you deploy these guys, set it to one, get that down. Uh, we want to... Sort them out as soon as possible. So we can start on the next one as well, because I really want these guys done. Really need these guys done. 20% trained, I can deploy them. Okay, that's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, it's... it's uh, It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We don't have nearly enough equipment to give these guys anyway, so... Eh. It's it's whatever, I suppose, right? It's whatever. Mechanical computing, wonderful. We have extra, extra good research time. Uh, we're going to want to head down to... Are we at max right now? We're not quite at our maximum production efficiency, so we could probably afford to throw in something else first. Um, maybe construction even. That would be important. Radio is okay. Land doctrine is important to start. I think we're going to do massive assault. Um, it's not a great doctrine, but considering we have so much manpower, I think it's sort of, uh, it's going to end up being what we're going to do. Yeah, I think that's going to be our little bit of a plan here. Um, because we don't have enough industry to create artillery. And we have enough manpower, so it's not necessarily like this is the only option we can go with. Grand Battle Plan, I'm just not a fan of uh, in general. Sometimes there are good situations to use it, like when you're playing Japan. Um, but no. Uh, in terms of mobile warfare, uh, warfare doctrine, we're sort of not really focused on that at all. So I think this is our only real option. Sort of, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, picking up what I'm putting down. Spurs industry, nice, um, 2.9 years. Oh, we couldn't have gotten that anyways, because, you know, it's going to take a little while before we even have access to it. That makes, you know, that makes a lot more sense now. Um, you guys are in here, but you're not actually helping out with that. Um, okay, hold on. Alright, so, welcome to Canada. Because... Just got a tornado warning on my phone. Absolutely wonderful. We're gonna go for 10 more minutes. Hopefully I do not literally perish in a tornado today. That would be terrible. Um... 
I'll go for 10 minutes and then I'll sort of keep keep an eye on things. It'd be terrible if I sort of, you know, died on stream. Yeah, that'd be, that would suck, dude. So let's not do that today. Instead, let's grab a research slot, play for 10 more minutes, and then call it quits just for a little while until I'm certain I'm not going to die from a tornado in the next, I don't know, two hours, three hours. Might come back later today. I do want to play some more EU4, to be completely honest with you. Okay, so, oh, okay, we have certain things we can improve. Okay, oil and iron. That's very, very nice. Okay, I do want that. Um, maintain another control. Ah, it's going to take so, so long. Okay, can I deploy some? Yes, deploy, deploy, deploy. Oh, my God. I give you guys too much equipment. Stop that. Uh, instead, I need to have six on the next one, right? Six in Jehol. Which I'm assuming is that little part down there. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's get six guys down there. No. No, 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 no. Hold on. We want to maintain th six up there. Make sure that, you know, we don't have less than six up there. It's very important. Okay. And we're going to keep the other guys down there. Start. <sighs> Arms factory sabotage. That sucks, dude. We got literally nothing. You're going to sabotage my only factory? Seriously? You're going to do that to me? Oh my god. Okay, let's get that up to the uh, to the highest of the queue. That's very important to get that done. 14th of March, 1939. That's going to take so long, dude. Really? <sighs> kill a civilian factory, please. Don't don't kill my uh, my military factories. That's all I have. That's literally the only thing keeping me going here. That's not fair, dude. That's not fair at all. Alrighty, uh, what's next? We have five troops down here, not quite enough for what we need. These guys are at 11% because it's going to take so bloody long for me to finish the reparations there. So that's good. Absolutely wonderful. Well, the university is going to give us a new research slot at the very least, which is important. Go Law University, assertiveness, um, assertiveness would be good. Legitimacy... So we get increased ability, increased war support. Okay, that's good. Army experience, that's also good. Anything else here is not exactly super important. Hmm. So, there is a way to go communist. Somehow. Very, very interesting. Well, oh, alright. Uh, we're actually just going to go with maybe Servness, because I don't see why not. They become a puppet. They, they don't really, you know, change their opinion of us, but that's good. Free military factories. Yes. Good, 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 good. Oh my god. Thank you so much. We actually create arms now. Arms production is, you know, a thing that exists for us now. It's crazy. Oh my god, finally. Alright, uh, new research slot. That's the entire point. What, what, what am I doing with my life? Okay. So, um, anything new here? What's popping? What's happening? Support equipment sounds like it would be nice, but we just don't have enough for that. Artillery, we're not even using that. Already researching that. We're basically going the bare bones, the, you know, bare minimum. We're going to be going with very, very minimalistic armies, because we don't have much to go off of here. We have manpower, and we have a very, very slight amount of factory production. That's about all I can say about it. Yeah, that's actually just about it. Right, so... Oh, we're getting close to our next guy. Uh, in fact, can we get into one? No, not yet. Okay. Can I change anything? Literally anything. Like, that would be good. No, it's not really important. That's alright. Uh, artillery. We're going to want to go with infantry equipment, because that's really the best we can do. Motorized would be nice as well, not going to lie. Um, it would be pretty good. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay, let's head over with uh, infantry equipment, though. Because infantry equipment pops up quite a lot, and that's really the only thing we have to help us here. Can I deploy you yet? Nice. Okay, I'll send you guys over there as well. It'll, it'll save us, like, maybe two months of time. Deploying these other units. It'll take us, like, a small, small sliver of, of time. But you know anything counts right now? Considering we're going to be going for the big rush against Japan. Uh, mess with salt, thank you. We're going to go with the next one, pocket defense. 
of supply and we have a plus 40 hour of grace time, which is wonderful. So it doesn't take a little while for them to get there. I wish I, I should have made cavalry actually. I think about it. What's the, what's the training time on cavalry? Um, it's about it's made production cost one forty four to one eighty. Oh yeah, it's uh. Well, they might have cost a little bit longer to make, but they would have you know gotten there faster really. Oh well. Uh, on the western countryside. There you go. And then just the northern and western bandits. We can hunt them down, or we can just pacify them. It'll increase army experience, though, but we don't really need that. That's not our uh, main focus right now. The divisions and basic training. Well, I'll tell you what, that's for a very, very important reason. Another thing is, uh, all these guys that are terrible, we're going to want to change them to the good template, actually. They just need to get deployed, and then we can fix everything up, you know, afterwards. Um, these guys are all the same? Yes, okay, very, very good. We have enough manpower. Everything's looking okay. Pax Americana. Okay, everything's happening all at once. Nice. Okay. Pax Americana. Congratulations. Uh, Hindenburg disaster. Yada yada yada. Serveness. Okay. Um, that was an odd glitch. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Um, we can request. Hmm. This is important. Okay. So what do we want to go with? This is sort of where we decide the tree. Almost. Not quite where we decide it entirely, but. Sort of where we decided, because we've gone with the Servness, we've chosen one of the two tree paths. Uh, we're going to have to go with this anyway, because, you know, to get to the next step, this is where we have to go. Other than that, however, um, I want to sort of choose where we're going to be going next. In terms of uh, either being, I think it's militaristic or, you know, super being, uh, being super aggressive, or it's one of the other things. I don't quite remember what it is. So there's the railways, uh, staff the court with man shoes, gains ability or war support. I think I usually go with uh, staff the court with man shoes because we get good things like military factories, which is important. Uh, we can also get a couple of banner infantry. Yeah, raise the banners. Um, right Russian advisors and empower legislative council, which would be good. We could modify the low legitimacy again. Um, either way, we head down bolster nationalism and all that good stuff. Independence war, yada yada yada, all that. Wonderful, fantastic stuff. Which is all good and fine. Uh, where's the one China's thing? Where is it? Uh, Independence War, Imperial Divinity. Reclaim the Empire? Uh, everything gets to become part of me. Offer oh, vassalization. That's the very, very important thing, right? So, at some point, what happens... So we're going to have to declare the independence, and then after we declare independence and all that wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, what we're going to have to end up doing is uh, going down that path in which we have to first declare the war. And then we're going to have to reclaim the empire. And then we're going to have to offer vassalization. What that's going to need us to do is to build up tons and tons and tons of manpower putting down to the field. I don't think they care about how strong or how, you know, supplied your army actually is. It's just sort of... Congratulations, you have a large army. We're going to join you because we don't want to perish, even though it's most likely that we would perish without them as our vassals. But we don't talk about that. The AI doesn't exactly notice that part, and we're going to keep it that way. Yeah, we're, we're just going to keep it that way. It's fine. Anti-democratic raids. Oh, wow, okay. So I have a little bit of communism, a little bit of... Oh, okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, change up these generals. Okay. Rule of the Rome Protocols. Okay. Uh, Britain and France, nice alliances. Uh, exchange of Japanese generals. We've seen something's afoot in Japan. Mm -hmm. So Japan, a couple of other generals. Join my ranks, is that right? Okay. That's a little sketchy there, Japan, but uh, okay. all right. Okay. That's cool. Do what you do. Um, we're going to go with... Oh, man, which do I want? Stability or war support? I do like the war support for a couple of reasons, because we do get more support, war support even further down. But there's also, you know, create underground workshops and military factories. That's pretty good. I might, I might have to go with this side. Might have to go with this side. Yeah, you know, let's do it. That's good. That's fine. 
Yeah, I'm sure that'll be fine. Okay, so now we're an Imperial subject. Half an hour has passed. Um, might have to come back a little bit later. This might have to be the first episode done due to unforeseen circumstances of, you know, possible tornadoes in the area. So, as it happens to be, unfortunately, I won't be able to make this into a one-hour special like I would like to, like I did with my EU4. Um, but we're going to have to sort of put in a cut here, come back maybe later, later on, and then continue the Let's Play. Because... Honestly, it's just not a great idea to just keep streaming while there's a tornado threat area, you know, tornado threat in the current area. So, I'm about to catch you guys in a little bit later, you know, in a couple of hours, and I hope you have a fantastic day in the time being.